there everyone and welcome to Let's Talk with Swangile. If you're joining me for the first time, I'd love to give you a warm welcome to this beautiful family. We get to share different perspectives on different topics. And in this video, I will be rather sharing my top five books that I'm currently reading at this moment. And I usually go and shop for books, right? So it's more like a grocery thing where I just go to Bag and Books or any other bookstore and I just choose some of the books that I find interesting. So how do I go about um, buying a book? I usually go with the title or if I know the author, then I buy one of the author's book, right? So my top five, um, it's a mixture of, you know, humor, and you know empowerment and you know those kind of dark-ish kind of uh, books it's dark in the sense that um, <laughs> not necessarily dark but then it's it's um, it's sad it has sad kind of uh, feel or kind of theme and at the end of the book you eventually get to learn something out of it and I believe that through you know with every book you get to learn a thing or two right so without wasting any further time let me just share my top five books that I'm currently reading this September or that I've read this September because September is about to end and we're going to October and the next thing we know will be in 2021 but Without wasting any further time, let me just share with you uh, my first book. So this one, it says, Take My Spouse, Please. <laughs> so it is written by Danny Klein Modisette, right? So the reason why I chose this book, what its sense of humor. So basically this book is filled with um, a lot of laughter, really, and dealing with uh, marriage. Uh, it's more like a comedy type of thing. So it's... For everyone who is in a marriage or thinking of being in one, I suggest that you get one of those books. So in, 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 in this book, well, you get to learn about the author's quest uh, to get more humor into her family life. And, you know, he has written, she's written this uh, book with so much passion and a huge heart, you know. So... Yeah, I don't want to open and read more on this book, but I just want to say that this is a lovely book. And, you know, I would say this book's timing in my life is everything. And, you know, what I like about this book, it, it talks about that um, just because of just one bad night or one bad event, it doesn't mean that it's time to quit. And this is not something you should necessarily just only look at it in a marriage perspective or in a relationship romantic relationship perspective but then it's more like um a saying of you know you fall seven times and you wake up the eighth this is the kind of thing that you know as much as we encounter difficulties in our lives it does not mean that it's the end of the world and it does not mean that we should quit right so that's why i like this book and you know it it, it shows um, how 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 comedy or how humor can be found in everything or in our real life challenges and you know um, they usually say that laughter is the best medicine and then this book is an example of that that you know you're encountering all these kinds of challenges either in a marriage or in a in life you encounter uh, challenges but you know a little bit of laughter here and there it's 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 what heals uh, people and it's healing it's it's medicine right so that is my first um, top five on the list yes yeah, so it's the first one on the list that says please take my spouse right so yeah and the second one is the truth about keeping secrets right so this is the book I've got it at bag and books it's the truth about keeping secrets and it's written by Savannah Brown um, I don't really have a specific reason why I chose this book, but I was caught by uh, the cover book uh, for someone who likes writing and for someone who, who, you know, who plans to have a book published or more. Um, the cover of the book was quite interesting. I'm not sure if you can see that, but if you see, it talks about the truth about keeping secrets and then it has this um, uh, key 
thingy uh, keyhole in it so it's quite interesting there you see it so I found the cover to be quite nice and the book itself it's um, I would say it's quite a grief stricken book um, where uh, you know Sydney uh, Sydney's dad you know uh, the, the author is Savannah Brown but then like uh, there's a, a guy in, in, in the book called Sydney and you know Sydney has a dad who is the only therapist for miles around um, a small town in Ohio and you know basically this guy because he's a therapist, he knows like literally everybody's secrets and his, ah, uh, yeah. So you can imagine um, a small town with just this individual knowing <laughs> secrets about literally everybody. So that is quite an interesting book to read. And, you know, once one gets to know people's secrets, you can start to think about it. Um, what will that person do about, about with regards to the secrets so if I make that guy angry and he knows my deeper secrets what will he do with them you know so that kind of stuff and also it is quite interesting from a psychological perspective uh, as as you know as a health pra uh, health practitioner you have ethics and legislations or guidelines that you have to abide by and you know keeping uh, having a uh, confidentiality or keeping people's uh people trusting you with a uh, certain uh you know secrets so to say or trusting you with so much of their sensitive uh sensitive rather experiences um becomes yeah quite an interesting thing to look at and because this guy is, is is a therapist and therefore as a health practitioner for example one can relate to such as that you know if you ever have to practice in your own small town um what are the some of the things that you are likely to experience or what kind of challenges you will encounter when it comes to confidentiality or um you know what are some of the risks that one could face um as a therapist or as a psychologist or as a health practitioner knowing such secrets in a small place um you know we we've talked about uh, about people being threatened uh, in different professions and this is one of the case where you ask yourself hmm is my profession safe or is my occupation safe and how risky it is to be in such a profession but yeah this is one of my favorites and i would put it on the second so it's like the second of the top five um the truth about keeping secrets so this is definitely a read and you know most of the books that i buy i buy them at bag and books mainly because they are affordable and yet they have the nicest um, storylines so I definitely like Bag and Books I'm not gonna lie these two authors I've never read their books before but um, these two books um, are definitely one of those to read books and should I find myself in one of the bookstores and I find Savannah Brown or um, Danny Clay Modisset I'll definitely buy their books again because they have delivered okay so right and the third one on the top five on the list is ooh, this one is a very short book but it's quite interesting right and the title of the book again i chose this book because of the title right it says why ball hold on so it talks about um it says why balloons rise and April falls, right? So it's it talks about the law that makes the world work. This is not a huge book and one could just read it in literally like a few days or a day or so. So um, <laughs> I like this book because it's, it, 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 it's more like um, a law, like it said, that makes the world work. So, work so it talks about um you know the physics in everything so for example they give an example of why a balloon rise and an apple fall so like the law of gravity and all you know it's included in that and then what i like about this i'll just read the blurb right and maybe rather let me just read from the beginning it says at just the right level for the beginner 
Stuart runs through all the classical physics that no one bothers with, yet it is the heart of everyday life. So this is more like a review of what the book is about, right? And then the blurb says, in a way, physics is everything from how the universe came to be and how we got here to how life works as it does. Physics can explain almost everything that happens in the world around us. So basically what he does here is explaining some of the occurrences that are happening in our lives and why such things happen, right? Right? And then that's why he that's when he talks about the why balloon rise and you know it covers all you need to know about this fascinating or inspiring subject of why things rise and why certain things fall, right? And you know through this book you get to learn about why heavier things don't fall faster and why time slows down as you speed up such things like that you know why you have more energy when you're sitting upstairs and what happened to i don't know i don't know who's extraordinary poor cat but this is one of the exciting uh, books to read because you get to learn about certain things and again you know um it kind of shows you um what things work and what things don't work but also it puts it in a more um should i say scientific yes it's not theoretical but more of scientific approach and i like this because it makes practical examples of um the basic things such as why the balloon rises or why april falls right so this is one of yeah the top three and the fourth one on my top five list is trying i don't know why this is the fourth but i guess the books are really that nice but um the book is called trying by emily phillips and the cover book also caught my attention or caught my eye and also the name itself trying right um what i like about this book is that it is so relatable to um many people and and that's what i felt when i read the book right so um you know through this book you get to uh capture the stress and sometimes the hilarity of uh, of trying for a baby and you know the two familiar battles with modern life which makes most of the women question whether um, having it all or not having it all and which one is worth it, right? So basically, a lot of women um, may relate to this one because you get to find to yourself asking, um, you know, I have it all, but I don't have, you know, certain things that I could say this makes me a woman because a lot of people tend to ask themselves or tend to wonder what makes them a woman what doesn't make them a woman and this is you know such talks or such um either perspectives or thinking it's mainly because of the society that we live in and how they perceive women so yeah this is definitely one of the books that a lot of people might relate with and they might be finding themselves contradicting you know while reading this these some of things can be contradictory to what they believe in and it kind of plays with your thoughts imagination values and, and all that kind of stuff so that's what i like about this book it keeps you on the on the dot or on the you know it keeps you on your feet basically you just want to indulge in it but then you ask yourself it's like okay um you tend to question yourself a lot of things that you either believed in things that people talk to you about people that said certain things to you and you say okay maybe i'm not such a bad person or maybe i'm not in a bad state for not wanting a kid for example or maybe i'm not you know a bad person for being rich and having all that and and all that kind of stuff so trying by emily phillips is um one of those beautiful things and 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 you know it talks about what i like about it is that how god is so powerful and emily just explains it i think in a beautiful way in this book so yeah if you 
um, that kind of individual who would tend to ask themselves if really having this kind of thing and not having that and you know not prioritizing um, the way other people want you to prioritize your life um, this is definitely a book that you'd want to try uh, or you'd want to read right so yeah those are my top four it should have been on my top one but anyway so those other books were really nice and i really enjoyed them and i think that this kind of took me to to a, a bit of a roller coaster and maybe that's why it's on the fourth but yeah i really enjoyed reading this book and it's on my top four and the one that makes it to the top five is let me not be mad Hmm. again i got it from Beggin books and it was one of those books which were on sale and yeah i like <laughs> this book because it's one of those quite clever troubling restless yet honest books that one could ever read and it was written by uh a.k benjamin you know um it unravels minds honestly i like that you know it's Huh. <laughs> it's it's hard i don't know but i feel like haunting is the perfect way of word to, exp to, to 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 just express what this book is but it's 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 haunting and enthralling in a very good manner you get what i mean like it <laughs> it haunts you in a sense that it is so honest and yeah you know for people who are not really into honesty or who don't enjoy honest talks conversational books i'm not sure this will be a good one but this is a really nice book that i enjoyed reading it's such a oh my goodness if i go on reading or talking about it i'll just be spoiling it for um other people but i i, I think i should just read this note so that you just get an idea of what this book is about right so uh, it has an author's note and i'll just read it and after that i think that i'll be done with my top five list my top five of in the reading links the reading list in september yeah so here's what the author's note says it says in order to ensure that no real person is identifiable from these pages and that any sensitive material on which i have drawn is protected i have changed names physical features, backgrounds, location, genders, nationalities, and ethnicities. Mm. So none of these people described are individuals. Uh, none of these of the people described are individuals, but each is a blend of different encounters, real and imagined. And then if anything, this confusion makes the book more faithful as an account of my experience. So <laughs> I read that author's note because like, these are stories or this is a story that one could relate to and you know the realness and honest or just yeah and honesty of such a book and how you know in other uh scenarios where people become so dishonest it's just so amazing it it, it makes one question themselves um, about their surroundings about you know the life experiences that they've encountered and it's not really a book that you say, okay, um, how can I put it? It just goes through one's life experience uh, and put it, puts it in an honest manner, yet it kind of provokes your thoughts in a way that, well, at least it did with me. It provoked my thoughts in a way that I never thought it would. And it made me look back, not in a regrettable manner. Yes, that's the word I was trying to say. Not in a regrettable manner, but in a manner that would say, would point out some of the things that had happened. And, you know, think about it in a positive way and, in, and as a learning curve for me. So yeah, I actually enjoyed doing this review. Is it a book review? Yeah, a book review. So these are my top five books that I enjoyed reading uh, this September. And I'm going book shopping very soon. So I'll keep you posted as to what I will be reading in October. But I really want October to be more fun, jo yeah, joyful and... I think I'm gonna um, 
dedicate October to be, uh, you know, a month where I would read books that are fun and joyful. Yeah, but otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know what to do subscribe, like, share, comment, and tell me what you think. You can tell me about your current reads and what you learned from them. And also, if you enjoy uh, watching one of these videos or videos like this, you know what to do. Just let me know, and I'll keep doing them. So, if you liked this, I'll definitely do the October, either top five or top whatever books that I'll be reading. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.